Hi, I'm Dan Zare, business reporter with the Austin American Statesman and Statesman.com, here with my colleague Lily Rockwell, and we, like everyone else, are riding out the ridiculous market conditions going on these days. And if you don't like it in the real market, say, hey, uh, you know, let's go to the virtual world. There's right. money there, too. Make money off virtual property. So, uh, th I'm sure many people have heard of Second Life, but what uh, some people maybe aren't aware of is that they have virtual currency in Second Life, which you can actually trade either the currency or objects uh, for real U.S. dollars, and some people are actually making quite a bit of money out of this. And then there's things like World of Warcraft, where you can earn virtual currency, and then people go on sites like eBay and sell this currency for real U.S. dollars. And of course, when there's money to be money to be made, uh, especially if it's real money, you're going to get uh, the lawyers coming as well. Uh, tons of legal issues starting to arise with this as, as well now. Yeah, so some of the issues that have popped up have to do with just the amount of regulation, or really the lack of regulation of some of these virtual worlds. So one of the issues, for instance, uh, is money laundering. And right now, this is just just a hypothetical. No one is really sure if anyone's actually doing this. But, you know, a foreign uh, person could put money into some of these um, virtual worlds, let's say like over $100,000 in a couple of different accounts, and they could cash it out for real U.S. dollars and put them in U.S. bank accounts with very little oversight and really skirting a lot of some of the, you know, banking regulations designed to keep track of some of these transactions. Now, no one's saying this has happened, but it's an interesting concern. Which raises the question, of course, do virtual lawyers chase virtual ambulances? <laughs> we'll have to wait and see on that one. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.